and we can't help but think of the great Pedro Martinez the Hall of Famer joining us in the booth we just saw you on the field how emotional was this for you you know I have to hold myself because I I I, I actually I could be held responsible for David landing in Boston and 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 uh, to see him out there I, that's why I walked out there that wasn't in the protocol nice play there at third base snaring the line right Brock Holt to put away Pilar for one out that wasn't part of the protocol to actually go out there and, and kind of and hand him the trophy I felt like I was responsible for David coming over and I I just wanted to kind of you know show support I brought you over and now I'm saying goodbye to you uh, on the field and that's that's why I wanted to do that. Pedro you know him probably better than anybody of his former teammates and how emotional this was for David Ortiz especially when he was remembering his mother. Yeah you know he lost his mother in an accident and uh, that wasn't the way he expected it to happen. Uh, his dad was there his dad did a great job at keeping David together and and um, but his mother, his mother, he looked so much like his mother. And, and to lose her like that, and she never got to appreciate the greatness that, that his son was, was able to display. Uh, I, I can see why he was, he was really weeping and, and, and kind of sad about that. That was uh, such a tender moment in the ceremony for, for everyone as David stopped himself. Then he said, I'm back. You know, brought himself back and brought everybody back too. Can you take us back to... The moment you decided, I'm going to pick up the phone, I'm going to call the owners. This guy's a special guy. He needs to play in Boston. What drove you to do that? Well, it, it was unscripted. I, I actually happened to be getting to the restaurant where David was when he actually received the call. It wasn't like I was planning on meeting David or, or anything. I just stopped to, uh, at that particular restaurant to actually uh, go and eat something. And... Uh, Little did I know I was going to find David sitting down there. I went over. I hugged. I hugged David from the back, and I, and I said, "Compy, what's up? Are you going to join me?" And he goes, "Yeah, I'm talking on the phone." Like he gave me a stop. So I said, "Okay, we'll talk in a little bit. I, I I'll come back and see you." And then from my table that was inside, I look to the outside and I see David duck his head down, and I was like. What happened? This guy is always smiling, and now I see this guy kind of sad. And when I got out to the to, to the outside part of the restaurant because he was sitting outside, he goes, "Can you believe I just got released by the Minnesota Twins?" And I just said, "Great!" You know, out of, out of nowhere, I said, "Great!" You know, because I that was an opportunity that I saw. But he goes, "That was the only time in life that I've seen David give me a look like." How can that be great? I had a, a baby girl born two weeks ago, and uh, I don't have one cent in, in, <laughs> in the bank. How can that be great? I said, no, it's great because I can take you to Boston. I'm going to call people right now. And we started calling. We didn't even bother to eat or have a drink or whatever. I just started calling and pushing numbers and, and calling Theo, calling, Lu calling Lucino. I was trying to get a hold of Tom Warner, all, the, uh, all those guys. And... Um, I, I couldn't get a, a hold of anybody, and then I, I decided to wake up Jack. Jack McCormick. Jack McCormick. Yeah. He was the key for that. I, <laughs> I, I called Jack, and, and Jack was like, oh, Pedro, what happened? Oh, my God. And, I, and I'm like, Jack, I know I woke you up, but it's important that you tell Theo or Lucino or someone that David has been released by the Minnesota Twins. We need a first baseman, and I think we should sign him. Wow. That's, so it was it was story. meant to be. Yeah, I guess it was meant to be because I was there. I guess the moment it's, it's, uh, our destiny somehow had us link in, in, in some ways. Can I ask you a question. You know, it, it, it was all about David today, but the, the Dominican flag being here and the Dominican national anthem. Very proud moment, I think, uh, for all of those uh, in the Dominican, obviously, and especially for David today when, uh, you know, they sang the national anthem and the president was here and. It had to be great. Well, it was a it was a moment for the Dominican Republic that's going to be always unique. It's, it's this is the first time ever I've seen the Dominican flag displayed in a big league stadium. Uh, the president being here throwing the first pitch. This is live, by the way, in the Dominican Republic. Yeah, everybody must be so proud in the Dominican to see um, 
you know, what David has been able to do. What a great ambassador of the game, not only for the Dominican Republic, but for baseball. David same, is. Same to you, and both of you are going to be up there in right <laughs> field next year. Uh, well, I, I think it's going to be, it's too long before we retire. <laughs> I, I think we should have done it today. <laughs> Face it by Travis and the president throwing out the first pitch. You could tell this touched David very deeply as well, that the president of the Dominican Republic would take the time and come to do this today to honor David. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm very happy that that he took the time because the moment really calls for it, and I and I'm very happy that the president was was able to be here and and represent the Dominican Republic as well. It is it, great. It was a beautiful ceremony. All those teammates, Manny and Millar, keep going at it, and uh, it was it was just great. You should have seen the way we we were joking in the back of the of the behind wall. the curtain back there. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'd pay to see that. And money, money. The only thing w that was missing was money's perfume to spray everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two down, a runner at first. As we chat with Pedro on this great, great day, and some of the highlights from the ceremony, and big, big hug hugs there. Great to see all these faces and these wonderful athletes coming back to Fenway Park. Uh, with championship trophies. Yeah, and uh, you know, it's it's just great to see them. I I I was I was in awe to see how great they all look. They look great. All those guys look great. Line shot to left Benintendi will make the play to retire the side. Pedro, you're the best. Thank you. Greatest. Thanks so much. And it was wonderful to see you on the field and here today. Well, I'm, I'm extremely proud of David. I'm like a proud papa today. So uh, hang with me. Hang with me. Thanks, Petey. All right. Thank you so much for having me.